you know, we're going to go again tomorrow morning at 10. So the thing I reminded them tonight, we have an event with our donors and our boosters tonight and our ticket holders. And then I want them going to bed. I, mean, I want them to get a good meal, get hydrated, and we come back tomorrow morning. So tomorrow's going to be you know, like a tournament. It's going to be like going to Hawaii back to back. To back. Um, you know, I, I, just, I, I just think the interesting thing's going to be where are we going to go from here? Okay, we got a nice foundation built. We're competing. How quickly can I move with seven new players? And that's going to be, a, 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 you know, that'll be the challenge of the next month. Bruce, what did you see out of those guys today? I mean, obviously transfer and, and a freshman class. What did you see out of them today? Well, I mean, you know, it, it does seem like the court is much smaller because we are faster and we're longer. And just because you get it to the rim doesn't mean that it's going to be a, an easy one. We've got a little bit more challenge, a little more defense at the rim. Um, and so um, I just I thought they played hard and I thought they competed. And, I, and, and, um, and we've, got, we've got a lot of new pieces. Bruce, just talking about TJ Dunn is what he brings to the table and the guy that's pretty athletic on the line. Yeah, he, he, um, he can really make plays off the bounce and, and he's hard to stay in front of. And I think with the new rules as far as the hand checking is concerned, he got a chance to go to the foul line a lot. Um, we're going to see a lot of packed in man to man. We're going to see a lot of zone, just because of uh, you know, the way these rules are going to be. The way they're going to call the game again. They go back to what it was two years ago, and they, like, two or three years ago they called everything. So, um, but Dunnans is hard to stay in front of. He's very long. He's very active. And again, you know, ask me in a couple of weeks how this young group, how much they grow. Right now they're playing hard. In two weeks from now, we'll see how much how much they can learn. How are they they're talented, they're young, um, you know, which means they get affected. The highs are high, the lows are low. You know, they, 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 they've not been through it before. So, you know, as a result, they're gonna give it and take it away. Um, I would imagine as, you know, as a, we're gonna have some very spectacular, really high moments with this club because we're talented enough. And I would imagine just because we're new and, and somewhat young that there'll be time where, will be immature. Just from a talent standpoint, having those bodies and numbers, how much does it, does it help from a competition standpoint to get ready for a season, be able to do what you're able to do? Well, right? I mean, you know, Simeon's got to beat Horace Spencer out. Yeah. Jordan's got to beat Tyler Harris out. Dangel's got to beat out to, you know, TJ Lang. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, Bryce and, 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 and uh, TJ Dunnans and Taj and, and Kareem. So we've got 10 or new ones. We have 10 or 11 guys, Devin, that, can, that, are, that are good players. And so there is more competition, and I think that's just going to make these practices really intense. Bruce, speaking of Dan Joe, are you confident that everything will be good to go with him for this the season? You know, he is practicing, and he is in school. And, and um, you know, that's, that's all I really can say. And um, so we, we would, uh, we hope we have him. Any update on, on Trayvon Reed? I mean, Trey's doing fine. Trey's doing fine. We're staying in touch with him. And, um, and we'll be some determination on if and when he would come back. But he's still in our program, and, and uh, we hope to get him back. Bruce, yeah. how close do you feel Taj is to being maybe 100%? Taj? Yeah. He's pretty close. I mean, yeah. he's under fire. It's real physical out there. I mean, I, I, I can tell you, it's, it's – uh, so he's hit the floor about five or six times, and he's gotten up, and neither shoulders even, you know, come close to popping out. So that's a really good sign. How, when that kind of thing happens, how, how much do you kind of wince? You're like, oh man, I'm kind of worried every time he hits the floor like that. Not anymore. I'm really not, I'm really not worried anymore.